starting a new chapter, chapter 12 about geometry and two-dimensional shapes. This is 12.1. We're going to describe plane shapes. Plane shapes are two-dimensional shapes. They have two dimensions, a length and a width. Length and width are dimensions. A plane is a surface that extends forever in all directions. A plane shape is a shape on a flat surface, like these drawings of shapes on my dry erase board. This rectangle, triangle, and square, these are plane shapes. They're flat on my dry erase board. They each have a length and a width. Plane shapes are formed by points that make curved paths, line segments, or both. We could even put more points in between here, and we have a curved path, don't we? And a point is an exact position or location. So if this was a street and your house was here, that would be the point where your house is, the exact location. And a line is a straight path that continues in both directions. That's why it has an arrow on each side. End points are points at the end of lines and are used to show segments of lines. So this has an end point here and an end point here. And a line segment is a straight part of a line that has two end points. So that is a line segment. It's not a full line because it doesn't have an arrow on each side. It's just a little part of a line. It's a line segment. A ray is a straight part of a line. So again, it's part of a line, like a line segment is part of a line. It has one end point and it continues in one direction. That's why it has an arrow on one side. So you can remember that a ray goes in one direction and has one end point. We can think of it like the rays of a sun that go continuing in one direction. that starts at the point and then goes outward in one direction, and some plane shapes are made by connecting line segments at their endpoints. Squares and rectangles have four line segments that meet at their endpoints. So here's a line segment with an endpoint here and an endpoint here. So that's one line segment, that's two, that's three, and that's four. Four line segments for that rectangle. And do you notice that each line segment starts and stops at a corner? Lines and line segments are alike because they're both straight, but they are different because a line segment has two endpoints, but a line continues forever in both directions. So that's why it's got the arrow on each side. A line segment is just a little piece of that line. An array has only one arrow because it starts at its endpoint and continues in one direction. Plane shapes have length and width, but no thickness. So they're called two-dimensional shapes. We can even say 2D for two dimension. Length and width are dimensions. That's the two, the length and width. Length, width, one, two dimensions. Now, if the shape also had height, so it had length, width, height, that would be three dimensions, that would be 3D, like a 3D movie that when you wear the glasses, it feels like the image is coming towards you. It's not just flat on the movie screen. It has a third dimension where it feels like it's coming towards you, so it has depth. Plane shapes can be open or closed. A closed shape starts and ends at the same point. So for this shape, it starts here at this red point, goes around, and ends at that red point. Same with all of these. They start and end at the same point. Now an open shape does not start and end at the same point. It starts at one place, one point, one location, and ends at a different location. All of these start at one place, one point, and end at another point. And Look, it's called an open shape, and it looks like it's open, isn't it? If you were inside and those were walls, you'd be able to get out. You'd be able to get out. You'd be able to get out. See? 
For the closed shape, if those were walls, you wouldn't be able to get out. They start and end at the same point, so there's no opening. We can change an open shape into a closed shape by connecting the starting and end point. So instead of having two different points, a starting and an end, we just connect it here back to its starting point. Now it's a closed shape. Write how many line segments. So here we have a rectangle. How many line segments are there? Well, a line segment has two endpoints. So if there was an endpoint at this corner and an endpoint at this corner, then another one here and another one here, we could see that there's one, two, three, four line segments. And you know what? A rectangle has four sides. What about this hexagon? How many line segments does it have? We can put an endpoint at this corner, this corner, at each corner. And we can count the line segments. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And a hexagon has six sides, doesn't it? What about this triangle? How many line segments are there? You can put an endpoint here here and here and count the line segments. There's one, two, three line segments. There's three sides for a triangle. What about this little pentagon? We can put an end point up here, one here, one here, here, and here. And we can count the line segments and the points would actually be on there. We have one, two, three, four, five, and a pentagon has five sides. Circle whether the shape is open or closed. So is this an open or closed shape? Look at the segments, the line segments, very carefully. Do you see any openings so that if you were inside of here, you could get out? No. They're all touching each other. So that's a closed shape. What about this one? Is this an open shape or a closed shape? I don't see any openings. It must be a closed shape. And what about this one? Is that an open shape or closed shape? Does it start and end at the same point? Well, we could say it starts here and goes around, but then it ends over here. So it doesn't start and end at the same point, and I can see that there's this big open space right here. If we were inside of here and these were walls, we could get out, couldn't we? So that must be an open shape. Put the shapes in the correct column. So here we have some shapes, and we have a column that says open shape and one that says closed shape. So where does this star belong? Do you think it's an open shape or a closed shape? If you said closed shape, you're right. What about this arrow? Is that an open shape or a closed shape? Does it start and end at the same point? It starts here. But look, it goes around and it ends here. Well, it does not start and end at the same point, so it must be an open shape. What about this green shape? Is that open or closed? Does it start and end at the same point, or does it have different points where it starts and ends? Yeah, we can say it starts here, and goes around and ends here. That's not the same point. So that's an open shape. What about the heart? Is that open or closed? Do you see any breaks or openings around the red line? Could it start and end at the same point? What if we had a heart and we started here, just like I drew it, and we went around and then stopped at the same point. Yeah, that's a closed shape. 
It started and ended at one point. So just remember, closed shapes start and end at the same point. These open ones don't. It starts up here and it ends here. See? So in order to be closed, it's got to start and end at the same point. Circle the correct name for each drawing. Do you know what this is? It's straight and it's got a point on each end. If you said line segment, you're right. It's part of a line and it has two endpoints. What about this one? Is this a line, a line segment, or a ray? Well, we already know that that's the line segment. So is that a line or a ray? It can't be that one. It's got arrows on each side. If you said a line has arrows on each side that go in each direction, you're right. That's a line. So what is this one? It's got one endpoint and an arrow going off in one direction. If you said ray, you're right. Match the word to the description. So we have to draw a line from this word's dot to its description. And because these are easier to read, it would be easier for us to do this to start on this side. And we'll start with this one. It says it has arrows on both sides. Which one of these has arrows on both sides? If you said line, you're right. We can connect this to the word line. This one says a two-dimensional shape. Which one of these would be a two-dimensional shape? If you said plane shape, you're right. A plane shape is a two-dimensional shape. It has length and width. What about this one? It says it has two endpoints. Is that a point, a line segment, a ray, or endpoints? Which one of those has two endpoints? If you said line segment, you're right, and we connect that one. It says the point at either end of a segment so would that be point, ray, or endpoints? If you said endpoints, you're right. Endpoints are at either end of a segment, a line segment. What about an exact position or location? Would that be a point or a ray? If you said point, you're right. A point is an exact position or location. We can connect those. The only one left is ray, and it says has one endpoint and one arrow. And yes, that is a ray. It's got one endpoint and one arrow. We connect those. Circle true or false. A line segment has one endpoint. Do you remember what a line segment is? It's part of a line, isn't it? But a line segment has two endpoints, so this is false. A line continues in both directions with no endpoints in a straight path. Is that true or false? Does a line continue in both directions with no endpoints? If you said true, you're right. What about this one? A ray has one endpoint. A ray does have one endpoint, and it has one arrow pointing in one direction. So if you said true, you're right. Now just for this one lesson, we had nine new words. It's very important you remember what these words are and their definitions before you continue for, further on in this chapter. You really need to know what they are so you can quiz your parents, or your siblings or your friend. You can make flashcards or watch the video again, but you really need to know these nine words and what they mean. We're gonna talk about angles in our next lesson and have a wonderful day as usual. And I hope I'll see you there.
Bye.